And the bedding material is actually coconut cork, cork, cork. Maybe this could also be a really nice drinking game you know, for the frat house in college. You know, whoever that loses a game will drink some warm juice. I think this would be really nice if you want to marry your warm and this can have some really nice feel. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Life of Will. Will, which is short for Wilfred, and most of the people in Taiwan also know me as Xiao Wei. So today um, we're doing this episode because I just want to give everyone an update on my new pets which is my 500 earthworms. If you guys have watched my last video, you saw that this warm bin, the vermi compost bin, did not arrive in time. So I have to improvise and make this little cardboard box to be their temporary housing. Today, guess what came in the mail? The actual vermi compost bin. And I chose this one because it has really good reviews on Amazon. And I specifically chose this one also because it comes in red. This particular bin is from Vermitech Garden. And also the compost bin, they come in various different sizes. They're actually one that are like as big as a human being. So you can grow like millions and millions of worms in that thing. I'm not there yet. This is a smaller version of compost, you know, for people who just want to play with them at home. Color, terracotta. It's basically just a brick red, but they name it terracotta, so it sounds fancy. It also looks a lot better in photos. I was a little underwhelmed when I see it in person because it literally just looked like a very average type of plastic surface. On the photo, they make it look it's so glossy. I'm gonna subtract a few points for just fashion in general. But you know what though? It kind of grew on me. The setup for a bin like this is so that when you're warm, multiply and grow, and we throw more food in them, it actually give you options options to add to it. It comes with five bins, but we're not gonna use all five of them because we only have 500 worms. So you will start with the bottom tray and then you put the worms in and as they finish all your food, as they multiply, you add in more food on the new tray so they will climb up to the new trays. Then eventually you will be able to harvest all the castings at the bottom tray and dump them to your yards and feed them to your plants. First, I just want to kind of go over some of the setup procedures that came in the manual, which I cannot find. <laughs> Okay, so before we go any further, I don't know how you have come to this video. I don't know if you're searching for people who generally are interested in worms, or you just like to look at cute Asian boy. Please click on the subscribe button. Follow my channel. This channel is not just about worm farming. I mean, I talk about fashion, talk about design, LGBT issue, things related to anything that I find interesting. So thanks for watching. So first of all, on the first page of the manual, first step, you have to prepare the bedding for your worms. And the bedding material is actually coconut cork, cork, cork. <laughs> pronounce that word. It's spelled C-O-I-R. Is it coconut queer? I think it means dried coconut skin. So the bedding actually came in a dry block in this box. I already opened it because it took a while for it to soak up the water that you're supposed to add to it. But I just want to show you guys how it looked before we mix it with water. It literally is just like a block. So what you do is, based on the manual, you add some water into this. And since we really don't have that many worms, so I'm just using one third of how much they sent me. I actually you don't really know what's the correct ratio, you know, for the amount of bedding to warm. But I saw a YouTube video where they have like a thousand warm and don't, they only use half of the block. So I think one third is good enough because I already had some soil and other uh, substrate that I made with the bedding for my last temporary box. So I think one third would be good enough. And also they expanded so much. And now we have all this soil looking substrate for our warm. And now we are ready to go into the actual house. When I first opened this gorgeous mansion, it comes with this little carpet looking thing. But in the manual, in nowhere in the manual, they talk about where I use this. So if you guys know what I'm do supposed to do with this, feel free to leave a comment below as well. Just like last time, before we add any substrate, we're just going to line the... I'm just adding some paper. Okay, I want to um, just briefly talk about some of the features. So on the base, there is this area that collect water from the worms. So it could be their piss. And then it has this little safety net here. So if the worms somehow also come down here with the water, they will end up here instead of drowning on the bottom. 
in their own place. Then we have the first tray of their new mansion. Here they have a little spigot, which um, it came separate, but I installed it already, you know, just to save time. When there is enough water collected in the bottom, you can just, you know, turn on the spigot and then collect the water. Because they say that these water are actually very nutritious. So you want to collect them, you want to take them. It's very nutritious for the plants and also for yourself. You wake up in the morning, get a cup, and have a shot of the warm juice. You know, you collect from your Vermitech tray. The brown juice, it's so good for you. I am just joking. Please do not drink it. It's not for you, it's for your plants, okay? If you drink it, you probably won't die, but you'll have severe diarrhea, probably. Maybe this could also be a really nice drinking game, you know, for the frat house in college. You know, whoever that loser game will drink some warm juice. I think this would be really nice. When I unbox the Vermi Tech Vermi Compost bin, they also come with some tools. So they have this little thing. I don't know what this is for, but I think because last time when I saw a lot of worms, I just generally had this reaction of wanting to itch a little bit. So I think this would be a really nice scratch for you. This video in no way is as educational as I thought it was gonna be. It also come with this, which I don't know. I think this would be really great if you want to make cakes with your worms. This will come in handy, I guess. This is something I really want to talk about. These are little trays that you put your compost bin on. You put water in it, and then it acts as a safeguard against ants. Actually, based on my research, it's not terrible to have ants in your ecosystem because it's part of nature. Um, in earthworm natural habitats, there are also ants and other animals as well. So don't be too alarmed if you see a few ants in your ecosystem, but you know, if the ants decide to go in and take away all the food and build a colony inside, that's a different story. So I think these are going to be very important. These also came in the same box. They are just like tissue. Oh, okay. Be really nice if you want to marry your worm and this can act a really nice feel. The funny thing is they came with all this stuff, but all these things are not mentioned in the manual. So you just have to be creative. I assume this could be a really nice cover. After a newspaper, it's time to add in the coconut core. So we're gonna put them in. I'm gonna use our new friend here to kind of just evenly spread it out. Remember, in our temporary box for the warm, already added some substrate. So I don't think we, ha we don't have to overdo the bedding. I think this is like good enough to be an environment to introduce them to. After you add the coconut coil and the bedding, it's time for the fun part, which is to start adding food for the new one. Again, we already added some food in the last bin that I created for them, but just over... Oh, it smells a little bit. <laughs> but just over the past week, we created more trash in this household. So now it's time to really get the worms to work. So here we have just a delicious buffet extravaganza prepared for the worm. We got coffee ground, which is something that they really love. We got banana peels. You can smell the aroma a little bit, rotten banana peel, and old tea leaves. If you guys are not sure what are good food for the worms, Vermitech got you covered because they actually gave you this really nice piece of magnet. You can actually put this on your fridge so it can be reminded what the worms like to eat and what they don't. So vegetable, fruits, eggshells are some of the things that they really love. Bread and rice and starchy things are okay okay but in moderation and then try to avoid meats, fishes, bones, eggs and your own piss. <laughs> so I am, so I'm gonna sprinkle some food at the edges of the box. The banana peels has been in that box for 24 hours so you can smell a little bit but one indicator of a healthy warm bin is that it's not supposed to smell because somehow the worm will just magically consume the food and you are just supposed to smell a little bit of earthiness from the bin. If your bin starts to smell like rotten fruit or food, that means that you give them too much food and that's something you have to watch out. Remember last time we have a slightly smaller box for the worms, but today you are seeing a different one. You know why? Because after just I think less than a day, all of the worms grew like twice as big. When they try to transport the worm, when they mail it, they keep them very dehydrated, very low water level in their body. But once I introduce them to, you know, the moisture and all that, on the food I'm giving them, they kind of just, they soak up the water and, and, and grow really big. I, I don't know if that's even physically possible for humans. So they are moving, which is a good sign. They are alive. You can see here, there are tons of casting. So that means they have been shedding. So that's good. Okay, so remember last time, they were a lot smaller, but all of them are now about this size. Okay, so I'm gonna introduce this little guy to his new home. 
Literally, they got so big. Look how long they got. This is Alexander. He likes sport. He likes watching football with his friends. I went from being a little grossed out to now being able to literally just handle that in my hand. I've come a long way. But you know, earthworms are our friends. On the manual, it says that you want to keep their bedding moist but not wet. These are all the good fertilizer that we're supposed to collect eventually. So I am just going to dump all my worms into the Vermitech bin. Yeah, you're not supposed to disturb them so much because they are very sensitive to vibrations and noise in their environment. But you know, it is what it is. I hope they survive. All right. Oh, you can smell that earthy smell, but look at them. They got so big! They're really eating all the paper. They love the papers. Um, a lot of the jujubes are gone as well. They've been feasting. Now the bottom dirt just feels a little dry, but I think they like it. Okay, look at them here. I hope I'm not giving them too much food, but it seems like they have been really getting to work. So that, that's a good sign. So after I put them into their new house, I'm just gonna top them up with a little bit more of these coconut coil substrate. So now they are all in their new home, nice and cozy. I'm going to put another layer of paper. Okay, and then I'm gonna spray some water on the paper to lock in the moisture. Okay, so now we have the paper nicely covering the earthworm. There's just a plastic tray that you just kind of gently put on top. But actually this tray can click to this inner rim of the top lid. But just for the first few days, they want you to just put it here instead of being having it attached to a lid. So we do that and then we put the lid on the top. Ta-da! Then here is our complete setup for the first level of our worm bin. That was a lot of work. Now all we have to do is just to pray that they are gonna live. It seems like they have been alive and happy, so I hope that continue to be the case. Earlier today, my sister was like, why are we having worms? Why can't we just get like a normal pet, like a lizard or a snake? Do you know what lizard eat? They eat, they eat frozen mice. No, they eat cricket. They eat cricket, but they also eat frozen mice. Of course, I will come back a few days or maybe a few weeks later, of course, to give you guys an update on how this is going. But for now, I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys here. Thanks for watching. And until next time, just a celebration. Have a wonderful life.